Now we're here at the state penitentiary where Scott Eisenberg has been executed after 20 years after murdering a DePue couple, AJ and Patsy Cantrell. News on 6 anchor Lori Fulbright has covered this story since day one and has come to know the victim's family very well. Lori, another family said today they feel like they finally won that battle today, but they say this isn't closure. They don't believe in closure. Reagan, that is so right. Um, they don't believe there is any closure because their loved ones are still gone and they'll never be back. And they've had to deal with grief and pain and that being re-victimized over and over for the last 20 years as they've jumped through hoops and gone through court hearing after court hearing. And they say today was needed. They are like, the DA asked for this death penalty. The jury gave it. They had nothing to do with that, but they did want that carried out. So they say today is not a day of celebration for them. Them. It's not a day of joy for them, but they do feel like today had to happen because they felt that was the only measure of justice for taking the lives of two innocent people who were chosen at random, who did nothing but come home and find Scott Eisenberg inside their kitchen. And, you know, AJ was beaten with that shotgun and Patsy was shot and their bodies were piled together on a bathroom floor. And Eisenberg testified he could still hear AJ breathing. So for this family, the pain has just been too great to count. And today they feel like was the final step in this chapter. I feel like, you know, and as I watched it, I started to feel this weight lift, lifting off of me. And that's how I feel. Uh, takes too long to get to this point. Oklahoma needs to, you know, fix their problems. It shouldn't take 20 years. Now, one thing Deborah Wyatt said was Scott Eisenberg today in his last words, if you will, talked about, I know the truth. I said the truth. The court knows I said the truth. People who don't want to believe me, that's on them. I have a clear conscience. What she was really hoping to hear today, finally, after 20 years, was something about, I'm sorry, and something about, I'm sorry for the pain I've caused you, the grief, the loss of these two fine people. But she says, of course, she wasn't to hear that even today on this final day in this process. We'll have more on Deborah's interview coming up tonight at 6 o'clock.